What's up, guys? Big Kevin, Uncle Salam, Snowflake Warrior, Street Geek, Urban Soul Pharmacy, The Project Post 360. You know who I is. You know who I be. You know why I'm here. We're going to talk about some of these firearms that I'm shooting today. This right here is a Palmetto State Armory 11 and a half inch 556223 with the Vortex Strike Eagle 1x6 low powered variable optic. Um, I'm shooting at 110 yards approximately. We didn't have our rangefinder with us today, so I had to kind of pace them off. I paced off 100, then I walked like 10 more steps just to make sure. Um, got a lot of upgrades on this one. Three and a half pound drop-in trigger. I can't even remember the name of it. Jeez, I can't believe I did that, and I should probably research it, but I didn't. But um, as you see, I was making really good hits, but I just upgraded it. That's my go-to-war weapon. We call it Wakanda. So apparently, all right, that's that's my baby right there. That's my combat weapon. Um, you might have seen my Glock 19 MOS, which is my personal defense weapon. This one right here is if I ever had to go through it. This is what I'm going to grab right here when uh, the shit hits the fan. And so right here you see me putting the uh, Strike Industries oppressor on it. That's a, a compensator. I'm sorry, the compensator is actually the King Cop by Strike Industries. The flash forward is the oppressor. What I had was Piney was sitting next to me at the table. He was obviously social distancing about six feet away. And the first time I shot it, because all the gas direct to the side, it was doing exactly what people say when you have a compensator on. And it was flashing them pretty hard. So obviously right here, I just, I had to shoot. I didn't feel like standing. I didn't feel like readjusting cameras. So I was like, yeah, hey, I'm gonna just sit it, sit down and see if I can hit the 100 yards. This is my PSA seven and a half inch. 300 blackout. It's the newest edition. Haven't even actually named it yet. But um, <laughs> this one right here, obviously, somebody comes in my house. This is what they go get. This, they go fill the rack with this one right here. Um, I like it. I wasn't sure if I was going to like a 300 blackout. It is kind of scary having one right now, especially with um, shit hitting the fan. One of the biggest problems that we're having right now is that all the ammo increased. So the price of this ammo tripled pretty much. I mean, no, let's say doubled. I was at about 50 cents around and now I'm at a dollar around. So I'm not going to shoot this one too much, but we are going to have a little bit of fun with it. I, sided, I first tried to side it in with the Romeo. Five red dot. I tried to side it in at 50 yards, and I had to readjust and side it in at 25 yards. It just, it just wasn't holding up good at 50. I just wasn't doing that great. I was able to hit the steel a little bit, and that's harm's way right there. That's my little AR9. Um, that one we had just put right, a different pistol brace on, so I wanted to make sure that it was let's functional and everything. Wanted to make Pop sure the red dot was here. still on, so I didn't shoot that one much. My KSG right here, new red dot, new fit sights on it. Wanted to see what I can do with it with those Agila, I believe it's pronounced, the Agila mini slugs, the um, seven eighth of an ounce mini slugs. They're one and three quarter inch, and I hit one. I got one hit. I thought I actually didn't get any, but I did get one hit at approximately 110 yards. Pretty cool. That's my closest to being California compliant weapon that I have. And I really enjoy shooting it, especially with the mini slugs. I also shoot the big slugs through it. Um, here's me tossing one in right there. I just had one sitting on the table and one night. You know, so I'm like, oh, let me let me see if I can hit this uh, target at 18 yards away. Yeah, that was kind of dangerous, but the angle that it was at, I knew if it once it came off it would go in a total different direction with the angle so i took that shot and um here's piney right here shooting my 300 blackout without gloves on actually you can see the gloves down by his elbow i didn't realize that he didn't put them on yet and uh, we had a conversation after that because i had to corral my joint down once he finished because i was like oh my god man you trying to spread that coronavirus you know social distancing we got to practice social distancing all right, guys, peace, love, and blessings. Everybody have a wonderful kick-ass pandemic. Stay locked down and be safe. Peace. I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes. You made it! Nuh-uh, you don't do that. I'm a grown-ass man. I do this for the ancestors.